This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. In this part, uh, let us see another one simple example. Example 7. A block whose mass is 1 kg is fastened to a spring. The spring has a spring constant of 50 Newton per meter. The block is pulled to a distance x is equal to 10 cm from its equilibrium position at x is equal to 0 on a frictionless surface from rest at t is equal to 0. Calculate the kinetic potential and total energies of the block when it is 5 cm away from the main position. Okay. This is the problem. Now let us find the solution for this. See the block executes simple harmonic motion. So we can get its angular frequency that is nothing but w is equal to square root of k by m and in the question they have given the value of k that is spring constant as 50 newton per meter and uh, the value of mass is also given as 1 kg substituting these two values in this we get the angular frequency as 7.07 .07 radian per second its displacement at any time t is then given by x of t is equal to 0.1 cos 7.07 .07 into t. So when the particle is 5 cm away from the mean position, then we can write it as 0 0.05 meter away from the mean position as 0.1 cos 7.07 .07 into t or if you simplify this we get cos 7.07 .07 into t is equal to 0.5 and hence we can write it as okay and the velocity of the block at x is equal to 5 centimeter is 0 0.1 into 7.07 .07 into 0 0.866 that is given by 0 
सिक्स वन मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड हेंस द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज गिवन बाय हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर एम इज वन के जी एंड बी इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स वन टू थ्री स्क्वायर विच गिवस कैनेटिक एनर्जी एज पॉइंट वन नाइन जूल्स ओके एंड द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ द ब्लॉक इज गिवन बाय हाफ के एक्स स्क्वायर वैल्यू ऑफ के इज फिफ्टी एंड एक नो द एक्स इज फाइव सेंटीमीटर इन मीटर्स इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव मीटर्स सो टू वन सा टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सा इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी फाइव क्रॉस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव स्क्वायर we get 0.0625 joules then we can calculate the total energy of the block that is uh, given by the sum of uh, kinetic energy and potential energy so here we are calculating at x is equal to 5 cm okay so that is given by 0.25 joules so we also know that at maximum displacement kinetic energy is zero and hence the total energy of the system is equal to potential energy so the total energy of the system is given by 1 by 2 50 into 0.1 into 0.1 That is zero point two five joules, which is same as the sum of the two energies at a displacement of five centimeter. This is conformity with the principle of conservation of energy. Okay. Now let us uh, study some of the systems which execute simple harmonic motion. ओके सी देर आर नो फिजिकल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एब्सोल्यूटली प्योर सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन इन प्रैक्टिस वी कम अक्रॉस सिस्टम्स दैट एक्सिक्यूट सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन अप्रोक्सिमेटली अंडर सर्टन कंडीशन so there is no such an example which gives you an 100% or which executes 100% simple harmonic motion so whatever the systems that we you know that we see they approximately they show this simple harmonic motion so now let us study oscillations due to a spring
See the simplest observable example of this uh, simple harmonic motion. is the small oscillations of a block of mass m which is fixed to a spring okay this is the one a small oscillations of this block of mass m it is fixed to a spring which is which in turn it is fixed to a rigid ball as you can see here this is the rigid ball the block is placed on a frictionless surface this is the frictionless surface on which this block is placed and if the block is pulled to one side and if it is released it then executes a to and fro motion about a mean position isn't it if it is uh, pulled at one side and suddenly if it is released then it executes to and fro motion so let x is equal to 0 it indicate the position of the center of the block x is equal to 0 it indicate the position of the center of the block when the spring is in equilibrium the positions which are marked as uh, minus a as well as uh, this plus a they indicate the maximum displacements to the left and right of the mean position okay and we have already learned the springs have special properties which were discovered by the english physicist robert hook because okay he had shown that uh, such a system when it is deformed again it is subjected to a restoring force the magnitude of which is proportional to the deformation or the displacement and it acts in opposite direction isn't it we already know this is called as hooke's law and it holds good for displacements small in comparison to the length of the spring so at any time t if the displacement of the block from its mean position is x okay at any time t the displacement of the block from its mean position is x then we can write the restoring force acting on the block as f of x is equal to minus k into x okay and the constant of proportionality is called as a spring constant and a soft spring has a small k and this equation it is same as the force law for a simple harmonic motion and therefore the system executes a simple harmonic motion and we know that angular frequency is given by w is equal to square root of k by m and the period t the oscillator is given by t is equal to 2 pi square root of m by k okay stiff springs have high value of k which means they have a high value of a spring constant stiff springs a block of a small mass m which is attached to a stiff spring will have a large oscillation frequency 
so uh, that is as this equation shows so this uh, stiff springs will be there no these will be having uh, large uh, oscillation frequency